Zelfa, great to see you as always here in your second bubble you prepare for Saturday night against Kiko Martinez. The birth of your daughter, of course, I'm sure there's a new motivation, a new fire for you heading into this one. Yeah, of course. Um, it's just a feeling that you just can't explain and uh, unless you've had a baby. Or, but you know, it's just like giving me an extra boost of, obviously I'm fighting for myself and my family, but I've got to go and provide now. So it's giving me that extra kick of, of winning, of wanting to look good, of, you know, bringing on, the, bringing on the bacon, as they say, you know, so, yeah, I'm happy. Brilliant fight against Kiko Martinez, the standout fight on the card, in many people's opinions. Just talk to us about when the fight was first put to you and what do you know about Kiko? Listen, I know a lot about Kiko. I've been watching him against Quig, Frampton. Um, you know, I know a lot about him, but, you know, we're just, we're ready for him. You know, this is the level that we're at and this is the level that we're going to pass so we can't look past him but you know we're ready for this um, task i'm going to take it with both hands i heard what you're saying to andy scott there with sky sports interview that no matter how he approaches this fight you're ready for everything whatever it takes as elfa barrett with. of course no danger no doubt like that's not no doubt in my mind i won't ever think that you know whatever he wants to bring i'm gonna um overcome it you know um the ditches in the floor you jump over it you go around it or oh, if you're smart alec you, you make the floor so, but, you know, we're just ready for whatever he's going to bring. The left hook. Gary <laughs> Donovan left hook. Have you got bored of watching it back yet? I am, because I'm the kind of fighter once I've done something and passed it then. Who's next? You know, I don't, want, I don't like to live in the past because you can get lost in the past and then the expectations, expectations of what you want to do in the future, you'd be, you'd be um, annoyed. So that was in August, left in August. You know, we're, on, we're in um, Feb now. So I'm on to the next one. When we caught up immediately after that Eric Conor fight, you were you were hard on yourself, disappointed with your performance up until, of course, that that brilliant finish. What do you feel you, you've learned from that fight with Eric that you'll be able to take forward and take into this fight with Kiko? Um, different styles, different different styles. You know, Eric and Kiko. So I learned in a different way of how to fight a fighter like Eric, where it's different with, with Kiko Martinez because you know he's coming forward. So, you know, um, you know, I've just, I'm not really, not that I didn't learn anything, you know, I've trusted my coaches and whatever, but when I fight a fighter like Eric, I know what to do. So, I think that's to say the biggest test of your professional career so far, and that's exactly what you've prepared for. Of course, you know, Kiko has been a world, champ been a world champion, you know, been at the highest of, of, of his weight category, fought the biggest names. So, you know, I'm just another fly to him, but we'll, we'll see Saturday night, you know, and I respect him. Winning this fight for your city as well. We know you, you proudly represent your city here, Manchester, and you've got massive dreams of, of headlining shows in the city as well. When we can resume, we can have crowds back. But you thrive under that and, and carry in that, that flag. Don't you? Yeah, of course. You know, um, I love pressure, so I love feeling like I need to be the fighter to to carry that, and I believe I am. Um, this fight is up and coming, but you know, I believe I'm the dumb one in my city, and um, I'll show it. I'll show why Saturday night. You know my attitude, the way I approach the fight, the way I'll win the fight, you know, I'll just show why I am and why I believe it. And yeah. Manchester United playing Real Sociedad in Europe the week after your fight, looking to do the double over Spanish opposition? Mm, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, you know. Yep, of course. Just fine, and I want to ask you to predict that you're going to end the fight in a similar fashion as you did against Eric Donovan. But can you just break the fight down for us and, and how you visualise yourself winning this fight? I see myself winning, no doubt, you know, um, working to the game plan and however he comes out on him, it's on him, you know, I'm going to do what I'm going to do regardless, you know, and um, energies, match of energies and, you know, I'm going to win and knockout's a bonus, but the, the, the job is to go out there and look good and, and win.